Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. So, we're working on multiplication backed fluency. And what does that mean? We're, we're going to be working with four groups of something. So like four groups of five. So that's five, 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 and five. So you see what I'm saying? Uh, we're also going to be working with groups of even fives. So it's going to be like, not, this is an odd number of fives. This is an even number of fives. And then we're going to have groups of odd fives. So five, five, and five. Let's take a look at the materials that we have. So down here, I have some base 10 uh, cards here. Uh, you know, five, or 10 frames, I should say. And I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. We may not use all of these, but I just want to put this out there for that. And then also I have some blocks that I put together to where, you know, each of them have, let's say, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to be using these pieces to do the lesson. I might use the whiteboard. Um, let's look at the ideas. We want to get that strategy in our head down to a model on the, on the whiteboard or um, on a piece of paper. Okay. And the purpose of this is to build on from the previous video that we had, where we had multiplicative addition. Okay, so let's get moving. All right. Okay, first we're going to do four groups of something. Let's take a look at the cards that we have. Let's do oh, four groups of eight. So I have one, two, three, and there's four groups of eight. Oop. Let's move that around around. So they're all going in the same direction. So we have these, these 10 frame cards, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the cells filled in. So that means there's eight for each one. Now, let's just think about this. Let's just kind of think it out loud. How would I work on this? And I'm looking at it, and I kind of see something here. There's, there's a pattern. So I can look at this and say, well, wait a minute. These two can go into here. Okay, and then these two can go into there. So if I have that as 10, and this is another 10, so two 10s, so that's 20, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on each left over, so 6 and 6 is 12. So we can say 4 groups of 8 equals 32, because that's set 20 plus the 12. Let's try it with another set of numbers with, with cards here. So I'm going to go with sevens. So let's do four groups of seven. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take a look at this. You know, it's like, wow, you know, hey, Mr. Woods, I'm not sure what we need to do on this. It's very similar to the last one because, again, I can put these three here into these cells here. And same thing here. So we have. 10, okay, and then I have four more right here, and then I have another 10 and another 4. So 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, and I have uh, 10, 20, 8. Oh, wow. Hmm, let's check on that. If you remember your large uh, doubles, we can say 7 and 7 make 14. Whoa, so if two groups of 7 make 14, and 14 and 14 make 28. You see how I'm validating my answer? Okay, let's, let's move on. Let's try something a little bit different. Well, plus I want to move on to groups of even 5s here. And let's, let me grab some. So I know these are five or 10 blocks each. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. There we go. So I have them eat. So I have one group of five, two groups of five, and I can just measure it out and say there's three groups of five. Hmm, that's some odd groups, but we want to do even groups. So I'm going to throw in that one. So I have, so I have groups of five. Now, if you remember for your doubles, five and five make ten, right? So we can say, well, wait a minute. We know that five and five make ten, and five and five make ten, and ten. There again is your doubles again. 10 and 10 make 20. See, I'm using my prior knowledge to come up with answers for this. You know, another way you can do it is say, hey, wait a minute. I have, put them all together, I have two tens. That's 20. 
All right, let's try something a little bit more uh, aggressive. So I want to try something where, let's see here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the blocks again. I'm going to use different colors. I like different colors. How about you? You know, it just makes it more interesting, I think. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Boom. And let's get some white ones here. And let's see here. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so I need, there, there's five groups, so that's an odd. So I need one more group of, of five. Okay, so I, I purposely arranged them like this because this is something I want you to take a look at. So I have, get this, I have, uh, if I look at it like a matrix, I can say, well, here's one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns, and how many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, because they're even, and that could be like a matrix. Uh, or you know where you want to arrange things. It can, these indentations could be your dots. So we can say this is going to be five times six, okay, or six times five. I'm going to get into that that principle here uh, in a later class here. But let's just take a look. So let's say we have uh, six groups of five, or six times five. Well, we can break this up again, so we know 5 and 5 make 10, and 5 and 5 make 10, and 5 and 5 make 10. Whoa! We just broke it up into more manageable pieces. So I can say 10, 20, 30. See how we're building on? 5 and 5 make 10, plus 5 and 5 more, and plus 5 and 5 more. Okay. Now, let's get into some groups of odd fives. So we have even numbers of five here. So we have, uh, we have six times five. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. I want to bring in another group of five. And so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven groups, okay, that's odd of five. So in, it was one, two, three, four, five. Let's try something a little bit different. We know, I'm gonna just put this up here and so I can see it, and let's just take a look at what we have here. So again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was those two groups, and I'm going to do the seven groups real quickly here. Okay, so see how I have it arranged? So I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's in my row. And then I have uh, one, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So we can count these up like this. However, we want to use some a uh, little bit more advanced uh, techniques. So I'm going to convert that into, let's do, I, I, like, a, I like these number lines. Okay. And so we have, remember, we have seven groups of five, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do seven groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna say plus five, and I have five. And then plus five more. And so five plus, and five are, and oops, that's gonna be 10. See, I make mistakes, that's okay. So I'm gonna add another five. And so 10 plus five is gonna be five, well, 15. Boy, I'm still making these mistakes. Another five, so 15 plus five is 20. And then I have another five here. And 20 plus 5, remember that we can just look at this. I can just say, hey, it's 20 plus 5. There's 0 one, one in the 1's column here, and there's 5, so I can just say that that's just 5. And then bring this down, and that's 25. Wow. So I know that's 25. I'm going to add another 5 right here. 
and that's going to be 25 plus 5 is 30. Okay. And then another 5. And so again, I can do this here plus, and there's no ones there, so it's 5 and 3. So 35. So 7 groups of 5 is equal to 35. I want to challenge you to do different odd groups, like 3 groups of 5, 5 groups of 5, 7 groups of 5, 9 groups of 5. You can keep on going if you want to, but let's get it up to at least that, that many. It's your turn to practice. Okay, so the, we, I just want to review again real quickly. We did four groups of a number, right? So again, let's look at that real quickly. So I have four groups of five here. It could be four groups of, let's just put on a couple more here and more here. See, I'm just adding the blocks on to make different groups. So I have four groups of seven now, okay? And you can use different techniques to come up with, or strategies to come up with the answer. And you can validate it by using the standard algorithm. So we're working with that. We did, we covered groups of even numbers of five. So let me take off these twos again. And so again, I have even number groups of five. Now I have an odd numbered groups of five. So first I had four groups of five. Then I have five groups of five, six groups of five. I can keep building on and on and working it out. But you see how it comes together. We can put it in a matrix. We can use 10 frames. Uh, the number line, I want to see your way that you group those numbers to come up with an answer. Okay. For the next video, we're going to build on multiplication fact fluency. We're going to have six groups of and seven groups of.